Good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning for me. It's probably not morning for you. Well, I don't know. I have noticed some of my viewers watch my videos between like 6 and 7 a.m. And I don't know who you guys are, but mad props, I guess. That's really early to be up in the morning, so. Although, it is Saturday at 9.33 a.m. And I have already been awake for like two hours and been to Walmart. So, I guess I'm not one to talk. But yeah. Uh, hello! For those of you who haven't watched my itch.io videos, then maybe you don't know that I've started using Facecam, which we'll see uh, how everybody feels about that. But this is me. Hello. Tina. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna... Oh, fun fact. I finally got my monitor, my second monitor, so I can actually monitor my stream while I'm playing. It's over here, which is why I keep pointing over here. Like a uh, flight attendant. Um, so, I'm gonna monitor the stream now. Hopefully the audio won't be too loud. Although I can kind of see that my mic peaks a little bit high, but we'll keep an eye on that. I've had a problem with my mic being too quiet, so we're, I'd rather err on the side of too loud because I can always turn it down. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I'm gonna keep track and hopefully the camera's not in the way. I'm gonna move it if it needs to be. But, in fact, maybe I'll move it. Let's see if that works. Hopefully it will. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna play this game. Also, I hope you don't mind, but um, you're gonna have your my morning cup of coffee with me. Because I haven't had coffee yet and I need it to survive. So, last time, which was like three days ago for me, probably this morning or yesterday for you, I played the most insane dream sequence, and like, part of me wants to go back and watch that video again so I can like read through it again. Uh, just like Eldritch Horror Cat being basically telling us that we're nothing to the universe. So, that was some, some real shit. Hopefully we have some, I mean... I love the real shit, like, don't get me wrong, but maybe we'll have some more lighthearted fun today. Otherwise, then my videos are gonna get too deep and I'm gonna have to actually, like, you know, talk about existential things and... I don't know. Are we ready for that? Are we... are we on that level yet? I don't know. Let's see. Morning! At the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey, dude. At the old Snowkin. Come save me from Boredom Supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. OA message. Oh, uh, is this the same one? I, no, it's not. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. It's a pretty good OA message. Um, so I learned... So... I don't know if this is, I think, uh, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. My fiance said that who you pick to spend time with actually kind of matters because you can only get one person's, like, final hangout. And they said since I have already done B twice and Greg only once, I should keep doing B so that I actually get to her final one. So we're gonna keep doing B because... Well, I think after this, maybe? Because technically I have to spend time with Greg and B to do this, like, investigation thing. But after that. Also, I have been told multiple times that I gotta be spending more time jumping around on rooftops and investigating stuff. So, I'll do that now. Bird, I kinda get you now. All, like, trapped and shit. I should let you out. Dude, I kinda thought... The bird thing was about, like, gonna, gonna be about that, but, nah. Nope. Let's see if my mom has anything to say today. I mean, she always has something to say, but... Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you can't, is that why you came home? No, not at all. 
Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. <laughs> like me's, or me's, May's skeptical face. You know, if you did have a baby, okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. All right. Let's go. See what we can do today. I'm gonna go this way first and see if there's anything out this direction other than that, like, bridge area. Bum, bum. jump you jump on top of that and I don't want that I think that's just the thing where you sit on the on the edge but I don't want to I'll do it before I leave so I don't um, miss out on anything just in case yep all right time to go into town I think what I decided last time I played is I was going to save B for last, so I think we're still going to do that, so we'll do Greg today, but I gotta go wander around on rooftops and things. Oh, I wonder, maybe I should get up on the, um, the only thing is if I go up is this not the right one? It is. Come on. There we go. If I go up here, I miss talking to Selmers if she has anything to say. Oh, I can see Penderson's house from here. What a ghoul that guy is. He has hated me forever. Just because I put an M80 down his roof gutter. What's an M80? I don't know what an M80 is. I mean, it's just petty, this grudge. That was like forever ago. Hang on, y'all. I want to find out what an M80 is. Oh, it's like a... It's like a firecracker. Okay. Well, yeah, me. That would make me mad, too. It wasn't so complicated to get up to Mr. Chaskov, but I think it's better because then you get a chance to kind of like jump over. I jumped the wrong way, huh? I think you're supposed to go up top. Yeah. Um, you can jump on all the little ledges and stuff. So someone told me that there's some interactions on the ledges that I would like. May, Mr. Chazikov, you look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? Yeah, let's do it. Come have a look. Every time, May. Oh, she didn't yell about it this time. Let's find us a little star. Oh. Oh. I got close. Is it this one? Or is it this one? This one. Gotcha! Oh, which one is this? 
Oh, that's pretty cute. Oh, I thought it was like a watering can. It's a like a lantern. Adina Astra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How did it, how Adina journeyed to the frozen lake? How she traversed unknown faraway lands? I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Mm, yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head, and how she was never seen again? Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Oh. Yeah, let's say this. No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so whatever. This game is deep, man. Makes you have like 10 different existential crises about different things. Oh, I just bounced off the edge. We gotta be getting close, I think, to the end of this because there aren't that many stars left. All right, this is farther away. Is it this one? Oh. I think I got one. Let us see. Cole, the mountaineer. Cole. Knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. I'm pronouncing it the same way, so I'm thinking I'm maybe not pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> it is. So, what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. The Midwest? Whatever whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yes. Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in many ways. Or, it is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So, what happened to Cole? He returned home, and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. <laughs> when one leaves a place, one brings something back when one, re when one returns. One. <laughs> one. Oof, that's all for the day. That was nice. I think we probably got maybe like one or two more of those because we're kind of filling up all the space in there. Pretty sweet, man. Stars, I mean. Where did the man come from? I think I've just inserted myself into May. So sometimes I say things that I would say. <laughs> Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. How nice. We have Adina and Cole now. Oh, I just... I just remembered about Angus, dude. That was freaking depressing. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. Is that does is that just like a a universal thing? Like everybody has the ability to tell when it's gonna rain with their bones. I y'all know someone who says that, right? Like I hear it so I mean when I used to work as a teller, like people would tell me that all the time and I'm like I'm sus about that. I don't know that you actually can. Sometimes it did rain though, so. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Huh, yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? No! Why would it default to no? Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. <laughs> Here's 
Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay. Dude, Selmers is my favorite. I love her so much. Chaz Gog's up there again. He ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh, no. He'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah. Name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah. He works at some university research place. He's not interested in... this. Selmers. Eh. Oh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Interesting. I wonder if we can participate in karaoke. I don't think I want to do that. It's probably another rhythm game. I'm terrified. go down here because last time we did that insanely cool thing with the the guy with the boat where we picked up trash that was insanely cool oh the teens are here again so like are you always together yeah I guess that's cool friends are cool safer safer yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Molve. Molve? You know someone from Molve? Yeah. Do you know where Molve is? Do you know what Molve is? No. I heard about Molve. My dad drives a bread truck. Molve used to be one of his stops. What happened? He don't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Molve? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to go get back in the sun now. Dude, I want to know about Molde. I don't know what that means. Alright. Um, yeah, let's just come out on this side because I already walked all the way over here. So we might as well. Then we can just walk back the other way. Alright. This is Greg's house, I think. So... Let's go this way and see if there's anything. I think Angus should be at work, so I can go talk to Angus. Hey, May. Hey, dude. Totally. What's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Don't mind me. Angus. My sweet child. Who hurt you? Don't answer that. I already know who hurt you, and I'm depressed about it forever, so. Oh, that's the pickaxe. Oh no. That's the only guy out here today. Oh, I haven't been up here. Of course! This is what they were talking about. Can you... Oh shit! I'm in trouble! Y'all, oh no! I'm getting tattled on. Oh, it says new Blossom Springs up here too. They should let you, um, tag this building. That's pretty cool. Oh! I'm sorry! <gasps> How do I get up there? 
Yeah. Guys. What is this? Let me inside, please. This is amazing. I had no idea. This was even up here. What is this? Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Blooming Row stapped, snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Chris Evans? He's in this one? <laughs> then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Oh my god. These flowers are fake as hell. Mallard deserves a better memorial. Plastic flowers are like super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Hmm. I don't know. May, I thought we were the same person, but I don't know if I agree with that. What if I go this way? Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Oh no! <laughs> Mallard forever. Oh no! It's locked, what the hell? That is a fire hazard. No, seriously. Is this thing clearly marked as something it, it is not? I'm coming back for you, exit door. And we're gonna have a little chat with my boot. Worst exit, easily. Ah, oh, so I guess we have to come back here? <gasps> Mallard P. Blooming Row. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Aww. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you, and I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. <laughs> I like, did you see her pat it? Mallard, you're pregnant. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's one of those god things. Like when you have a baby because god? Holy crap. You are the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. Oh. Oh. I love them! They're my children now! Miracle rats, yeah! Oh my gosh, alright, we gotta find some food so we can come back here and bring them food. I can't believe I haven't done this the whole time. Alright. I wanna see, cause I saw- Ooh, the game's getting all framey. Y'all see that? Alright. How do I get up there? I see there is a power line, but how do I get to that power line? <gasps> oh, okay. I got it. Maybe. Okay. Up here. <gasps> Guys! I think these are supposed to be weather stations. Pioneer Scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. God. Oh no, the violin player in my dreams is not a bear, I don't think. I think it's a bird. I was like, 
Is this guy from my dreams? But it's not. Hey! Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Celine. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I also don't know what busking is. Y'all know what busking is? Put it in the comments if you do. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Are you gonna give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. Cool. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building but abandoned building by the click clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. Guys! We're gonna put the band together that's in my dream. Cause the other girl had a a saxophone. This person has a violin. I found that tuba baritone thing in the sewers. Oh man, I'm so glad I grabbed that one. And then what's the other one? The um accordion. Dude, this game is something else, y'all. I don't even know what to say. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. Dude, I'm so stoked. Also, I just noticed now there's violin in the song that's playing. Oh my god. This game blows me away, you guys. You have no idea. Alright. <gasps> Lori! Hi. Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. She called me adult! Hey! Uh, gonna go hang out the tracks. Don't get hit or anything. I've lived next to the tracks all my life. Only dorks and drunks get hit by trains. That's harsh. It's a harsh world. Well, see ya. Bye. Oh, she had more to say. Oh. I gotta, like... There we go. There's a cat! Alright, hang on. We gotta... Oh no. Okay. Hmm. Used to sometimes see other people up here. Is this not a thing anymore? Am I just old and out of touch? Whatever, it's awesome. I'm gonna put up a tent and camp out. Camp, camp out up here. Would we'll definitely roll off and die. <laughs> oh shit, I got a new uh, drawing. Thought, roof cat is correct. How nice. All right, let's see what else we got. Can I jump? Drop down? Yeah. Wow, that was okay. That was amazing. I'm really glad I did that. Let's see what's this way. Oh, it seems like not much. That was phenomenal. I need to find some food so I can bring it to the rats. Maybe at the snack falcon I can like buy some food. Um, yeah, let's go back up here. See if there's anything new today. Maybe I can go talk to the saxophone lady and tell her about the violin guy. Oh. Hey, what are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? Coyote wandered into a snack falcon out past Brittle. Just like walked in? Yep, sat in the sandwich cooler. Did it eat a sandwich? According to, th to this, the coyote just stared at the cashier. That's spooky. Coyote's a spooky animal. Interesting. Oh, can I jump on top of this? I can. It's not really... I guess I could go over here. I think I already did this, though. There's like a TV on in there. I'm trying to remember how we got to the person playing her saxophone. I think I need to go uh, back. I might have to like start over 
like go inside the building and well now I definitely have to start over <laughs> if I can't figure it out then um, I'll go watch my other video and <laughs> figure it out okay I think oh I think it was just like this maybe maybe not okay there we go that's how you do it. <gasps> there's someone up here well, what are you doing up here? Uh, um, what are you doing up here? I live here. On the roof? <sighs> no, in town. Noted. You're gonna fall and kill yourself. Noted. I'm like, trying to see the town from above. Oh, okay. I'm gonna draw a map of the town center. Don't they have maps? Like, they make them with satellites. From space? Eh, I like making them. They're delightful. I like maps. Everything's so tiny. Right? Okay, well, be careful. I'm up here because I'm a prof I'm a professional. I have these shoe I have the shoes for it. Okay, thanks. If I see you on the news with a broken spine, just don't say I didn't warn you. I probably won't be saying anything. Oh, Right. Good point. Have fun. Interesting. I'm pretty sure this is how we do it, though. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Okay. I finally found it. Just took me a hot minute. Hi again. It's you, kid. I'm actually 20. I'm 38. You're a kid. Okay. How'd you find this place? I mean, I knew this was up here since I was a kid, but only got up the nerve to break in recently. Why is that? Not getting any younger, and this place could fall in any day. You get to a point in life where the numbers of first steppers get slower and the number of never agains gets higher. I don't know. I know what you mean. No, you don't. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. Small world. Hehe, <laughs> well, small town at least. Definitely. See ya. Dude. We're gonna get a band together. I can feel it in my bones. Um, I just realized that we didn't go to, um, up by the church today, so we gotta go do that. This is jump. Because I started climbing on the roofs instead. <laughs> Oops. But that was amazing. I'm really glad we did that, so. Dude, it's gonna be dark by the time I ever even, like, talk to be or Greg. Does that matter? Do you guys know? Like, can I, like, time out of things if I take too long? Probably not. This seems like a type of game where they actually want you to, like, take your time and interact with a bunch of people, so I highly doubt that, like, I'll miss out on anything. I think we're actually gonna go this way before we go inside this time. Just feel like mixing it up. Hey, Bruce. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you, and I'm sorry I caused her trouble, but I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor, after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. 
Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, me. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Guys, this game is gonna make me cry. <laughs> That's so dumb, like... Bruce is a nice character, but for some reason him leaving, like, makes me want to cry. That's so depressing. And Pastor K is gonna be so sad, dude. Hmm. I can't tell her until tomorrow, though. Because otherwise she'll try and stop him. <sighs> is her name KW? No, her name was Kate, right? Now I can't remember. But the sign said Pastor KWU, so... I don't know what that means. Let's see if Pastor K's in there. I wonder if it'll give me the option to tell her today? I hope not, because that's a... I don't want to have to make that choice. <gasps> Oh no. Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drained in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space, and we have people who need space. We have resources, and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring business into town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums... Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Hmm... This sucks, guys. Ugh. Stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever, it's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, mate? Eh. Eh. Sound serious, I guess. So like, things have been rough lately? I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? <laughs> May, you didn't listen very well. That thing specifically told you it wasn't God. Like, explicitly told you it wasn't God. What? I'm gonna say I don't think it was a dream. Oh, wow. That happens, right? Or, like, or it, like, happened. Sure. Can you tell me about it? Oh, man, I don't remember. I don't think it was the desert. It was, like, the shore of this giant black ocean. I could see, like, forever into the sky. And below, it was just sand. As far as I could see. I was wandering through it, but... I was like drawn to something, and I came up over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune? Yeah, a dune. And there was God, just sitting there, up on another hill. Or dune, or whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. <clears throat> They were kind of a jerk. I mean, more of a straight up asshole. Sorry, can I say that in a church? <laughs> I think the structure can handle the shock. They went on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. 
Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about... Did they talk about a giant hole? I do remember them saying how nothing matters. How nothing matters. Like, the universe is ending, and everything is, be is being forgotten. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? <laughs> yes. I had this problem when I was in high school, and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I don't think I believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God for at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor, and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching, anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? May? I have to go. Okay. That's really mean. May? You're bad. You're being naughty. I'm gonna put you in timeout. I don't know what that means, but... Pastor Kay is nothing but nice to you, and you're just so rude to her. Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. May, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. Can I go anywhere over here yet? No. Dude, I'm so depressed that May was mean to Pastor Kay. She didn't deserve that. But I guess, I mean, that's kind of like the whole point, is that May just doesn't really understand how the world works, and so she does... She has these very, like, all-or-nothing opinions about how things are supposed to go and what... Is it just me, or is the city section, like, insanely loud? Wowzers. I think it's because those cars were going by, but that was really loud. But, um... Yeah, that's why she acts like a dick all the time, is because she just, like, has this idea of how the, the world works in her head. And, I mean, it's why you always get in a fight with people. Hey, B. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? <laughs> Wandering around town. Have fun. Let's, because that was probably the option to talk to her again and um, go to the graveyard, but I, my game's getting creamy again, and go to the graveyard, but I want to do the thing with Greg instead.
And maybe the snack falcon has food and I can give it to the little rats. And I mean, I'm gonna have to remember how to get up there, but. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. Haha. <laughs> and she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both dance on that <laughs> table. I think it's a damn near broke my back. Somehow, I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is the place that says it has- That person said there's karaoke? Who told me that? Selmers? I think it was Selmers. God, dude. I've been playing this game for 45 minutes, and I've already forgotten what happened at the beginning. Alright. Can I buy any snacks? Greg, give me a snack, please. Sup, dude -er. Hey, how you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Hmm. Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? To replace the idea of a caring God? I can throw in some chips. <laughs> I'm good. No, get the chips so you can give them to the rats. You want to hang out? Wait. Do I not? Hang on, because I don't want to choose this if this means... Maybe we should be safe and go talk to B. You have checked in officially. I check B. Maybe we should go talk to B because I'm worried that that's gonna trigger like a hangout and not the thing where we go do the investigation. So let's go do it with B instead. And if we go to the graveyard, then it's fine. I'll just do that. But I don't wanna end up in a situation where I miss out on a final like hangout and uh, didn't realize it because I did that. So. Bee's probably gonna think we're crazy. Oof. What are you up to today? Let's see. Whatever you want to do. Proximity. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, I know what the word proximity means, but I don't really know what that has to do with what we're gonna do. So, what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Oh, that was years ago. Uh-huh. Didn't Jackie have, like, a one-woman band? Yeah. Trans World Order, give them hell. T-W-O-G-T-H? Yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Twogth. Hey B, say it. Say twogth. 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 <laughs> anyway. I like when May- I like didn't see it until it was too late and I had already clicked. But I love when she does the thing where her like pupils are in the center and her eyes are all wide. This is a party, and Jackie invited me. Look at you! All going to secret parties and shit? They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. Now you're invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. 90 minutes? I think I went here once, in Girl Scouts, to see some sort of Longest Night play. Yeah, I was there. So, they've talked about Longest Night a lot of different times. I think that might be Christmas? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's Christmas. Or, like, it's, um, for, like, the winter solstice. So, like, near Christmas, but, like, not Christmas? I don't know. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? 
I was new in town, and you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? <laughs> you know, fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly? You're not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. All right, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down there, just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Now it is too late. Ah, uh, this is the the girl from the party um, where we threw up. Hey, B. Oh, weird. It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it's a good one. Is there, like, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. Oh man, I'm excited for this. I hope it's not too loud. I am con slightly concerned about that, but... This is a bop, dude. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Alright. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's the best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn how to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So, where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story, for both of us. I got time. <clears throat> Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. <clears throat> okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. So the only dink I know is double income, no kids. What does dink mean in this scenario? The same thing? I don't think so. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be a rhythm game. I can already feel it. Uh, can you dance, May? Uh, can, like, anyone here dance? Oh, shit. Look at them go. Dang. Oh, dude. This is amazing. Look at me go. May's just bobbing. We're vibing. This is amazing. Does this just go on until I stop it? Because, oh, no. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Ooh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like ten feet away. With an eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any... B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. I'm vibing. This is really nice. Like, I didn't expect this to be this nice. I don't honestly really know what I expected out of this, but it wasn't this. 
Oh, what? I can control the dancing. Y'all didn't tell me. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Dude. Oh, I'm so depressed, dude. I could have been dancing this whole time. I was just vibing. Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Hmm. May Browski. Browski. Nice. Sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow. So, what's your story, May Browski? <laughs> I'm a college dropout, a ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams, where I was running around jumbled bits of, like, history or something. Like, it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. And, yeah, there was a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it, like, kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it, and I have this thing going on in my head, and I dropped out of college and I don't even want to get into that, and all I wanted to do was come home and for things to be normal, and that's not really working out. And I found out tonight that... And I found out tonight I can dance, and then I saw you. I've never just listed all of that out at once before. Wow. I stole your life story. <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Uh, alright. How nice. What? We made a pentagram. What does this mean? Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. That's a good idea. Browski. <laughs> it's a good name. Sounds tough. Mm, okay. Need to tell friend. Location. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow. Okay. Be right back. Um, did this man drug me or something? Why was I talking like that? I want to dance more. Because I ruined it. <clears throat> Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Ah, uh, she's okay. <laughs> You're laughing a lot. Oh, no. B has a crush on this guy. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Oh, <laughs> well. A book you liked? I liked ghost stories. My granddad died, and it left me an apple crate full. That's some shit to drop, May. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. Bee's mom is dead too. Jesus. <sighs> May, why? Why? <laughs> May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring, when my house exploded. What the fuck? What is happening? Because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line, trying to dig up the dog we had before that. Because we were going to move, and dad said he had to come with us. Jesus Christ. Wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? Polly sigh. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. <laughs> um... That's some privilege shit right there. College is expensive. <clears throat> That's interesting because... Haha, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Yeah, May, thank you gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B. B. Check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. Haha, <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Yeah. I'm gonna let B, uh... <laughs> you should go dance. 
Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat. And it's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. What the fuck? B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm not- I want to say this really badly, but I feel like it's not gonna go well. <laughs> B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Haha, <laughs> May, no. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. While well, Rich Kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, Bee's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? Ha ha ha. I'm kinda over the whole college thing myself. Bee and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Wow. You drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick. Be here drove for, in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm... <sighs> <clears throat> oh, no. B, wait. Guys, I fucked it. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, I... Yeah, that makes sense that I have to follow after B. Guys! What have I done? What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needed this. Or she needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We'll fi we find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay, oh god. Okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. Can get to the river quick on the roofs. How though? Hey, move! What? Move it, goth dorks. No! I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. Yo, cool down. You F off! Don't tell me to F off! Don't tell me to cool down! Get away from my damn car! If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm gonna probably make you eat this entire car. <laughs> and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically? Seriously, I'm about to... <laughs> You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. This is some shit, y'all. I'm really glad I did this. Oh god, I slipped. Oh, the music's kicking in. Meow. Sorry, I'm like vibing to the music. This is really far. Oh no, I didn't make it. Oh, 
Oh. B! There you are. Are you alright? Oh no. Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town and you don't even know what. This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. This is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this, ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college, like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids lives there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away and like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets small smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight. And you can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard and I take care of what's left of my family and my life is slipping away and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So, why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God? He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped, but we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. <laughs> oh God. What river is this? Red Winder? All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors, and the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just... what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance. While I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? 
Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I'll learn to talk good. To whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh, good. Thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes. I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello? We should get burgers and shakes on the way home? Oh wow, a, re a revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. <laughs> Crap, I didn't get her info. Who? This super cute girl I met at the party. We did a secret handshake. Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Mayday BB. Stuck together, don't suck together. Is this Selmer's or the girl that I met at the party? I think it's probably the girl I met at the party. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. Oh. Okay. So, what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that I that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff, and where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like... Everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with Mom. Kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse. I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive? And, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Oh. Spend some time with my dad. Malloy. Garbo. Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? Oh no. I don't have a life, as it is. Ha ha. Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. Very funny. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. You were making... You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have a we should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be a wappa. Wow, very funny. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Wowzers. I'm gonna use a Ouija board. Wowzers. This is a heavy episode, y'all. This has been- there's been a lot of shit. 
I'm, I don't even know how to parse it. And tonight's stream sequence is going to be probably a mess. Wait, let's do Greg first. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters. Hey, you. Hey, me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. That you did that. Aw, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Aww. B. <laughs> Gotta click on Shrinkle sometimes. This game is so nice. I'm like... Obsessed with all of them. piano though no dream sequence oh shit okay well in that case then I guess we'll call the video here I am shocked that there's no dream sequence here that's actually uh... wow we well y'all that was that was something else. We had a lot happen today in this episode. Um, I need to find some food. Honestly, the most pressing thing is finding food for those little rats so that we can talk to them. Also, getting all of our um, dream sequence band together, that's top of my priority list. So we're going to have to wander around some more and make sure that we um, interact with everybody so we can eventually get to that. Um, wowzers. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching, and if you made it this far, please hit the like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's, uh, the YouTube algorithm know that you like my video, and hopefully that other people might like my videos, and it will shoot it off into their purview, and then they'll watch it, and then subscribe. I don't think it works like that. I'm just making that up. Anyway, um, if you like what I do, please consider subscribing. I put out videos pretty often, pretty much once a day, sometimes two, sometimes three. But that doesn't happen very often, so don't get your hopes up. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching. I know this is going to be a long one, but I did get some feedback on my Night in the Woods videos that people wanted it to be longer, so this is for you, kid. Uh, yeah, thank you all again so much for watching, and I will... See you next time. Bye.